Hi, my name is Dave Fisk. I'm a systems engineer with Citrix Systems. I'm here to show you how easy it is to install Citrix Profile Manager today. First, we'll talk a little bit about what Profile Manager is. Profile Manager allows an administrator to have a user be able to roam settings from one machine to another. Uh, typically, we used to call that roaming profiles. In a Zen desktop or a virtual desktop, uh, infrastructure that does not work um, as desired. So if you were to apply those inside of Active Directory saying use roaming profiles it would roam not only their Zen desktop it would also roam their their normal desktop that they use. So with Citrix Profile Manager there is a, a uh, profile management solution that gets installed on the virtual desktop and there is a uh, a service that gets uh, installed on that machine that handles all the profile management parts. In my case, I have uh, a Windows 7 machine that we will log into. Here's the machine that we're, we will install the, the uh, profile management software. I have it already downloaded from my Citrix. I'm just going to launch the uh, solution here. It's an MSI file. I'm going to click on Next. I'll accept the licensing agreement. Click on Next and it installs into program files under Citrix where all the uh, Citrix stuff installs into a folder called User Profile Manager. Click on Install. This only takes a few minutes to set this up. Requires a reboot at the end, so we'll click on Yes, Status, Copying New Files, Yes, Installing Services, Starting Services, click on Finish, click on Restart. That's it. So my virtual desktop now has the Citrix Profile Management solution installed on it. Now for the back end, there's a couple things we want we'd like to do in order to make this very manageable. So what I've done inside my Active Directory, I've gone to my to uh, Group Policy Management inside of the OU where my virtual desktops exist. I've created a, uh, a group policy object called Profile Manager. I'm going to go into the computer configuration under Administrative Templates. I'm going to remove any of the default ones that are installed there. That way we're not applying multiple policies upon policies. It's clean, it's just going to handle profile management. I'm going to add, I'm going to browse out onto my network. You don't need to copy this to your local machine. And browse out onto the network, find my profile management software. Inside the profile management folder, there's an ADM templates folder. Pick your language. Install the ADM. I now see Citrix and profile management. What I want to do here is I am going to delete locally cached profiles. Again, these settings are all up to you. Um, whatever you want to do. Migration of existing if you want. Template profile. This is where you can point to a different profile instead of using default user. Uh, the, the first thing we actually need to do is enable profile management. So we're going to turn it on. Processed groups. By default, it uh, does not process anybody. So what we actually want to do is uh, set this to disabled. So if setting is disabled, profile management will work for all users. So this way you can actually apply it to different user groups within your environment. Or you can say, I want to apply it to everybody that logs into this virtual desktop. Process logons of local administrators as well. In my case, I want to do that take precaution on your end if you want to do that or not. If you have administrators that use these uh, 
accounts daily for their user activity, uh, as I do in my lab, then you'll want to enable this. If your user administrator accounts, if they don't use them for daily activity, you may not want to process the logons for local administrators. The path to the user store, what I'm going to do is uh, is choose a server share. So you can copy this. And I'm just going to call it msdc01, which is my domain controller where I have my profile management manager dollar sign. I'm going to click on OK. Active right back. I'm going to turn that on as well. That will allow settings actually to trickle back and forth uh, while, while I'm actually logged in. Um, there are a whole lot of other registry settings and, and changes and inclusions and exclusions. Uh, by default, we actually include everything. And you, but you can say, you know, I don't want to include these profiles or these folders or these registry keys. You have the full capabilities of, of choosing to do uh, either way. A new feature we've also included is profile streaming. Uh, some of our competitors or partners have, have had this uh, capability. Uh, I'm going to turn it on, and, and that way, and, and I'm going to turn it on uh, for everyone. So uh, here's, you can go into the explain if the setting is enabled, only profiles uh, in those groups, or if it is disabled, we're going to do all groups. So again, just like the other one that we turned on, we're going to set it to disabled, so it will apply to everyone. What the streaming does is that it allows Windows to think that the profile is completely loaded before uh, it, it truly is completely loaded, so that it speeds up the, the user's in, interpretation of what the logon process um, actually entails. So now that I've done all that, let's go back to my virtual machine. And I'm going to send it a restart. I'm going to shut it down. The reason for this is I want I want the group policies to be applied. The machine came up before all the group policies were done. So rather than logging in and typing GP update, I'm just going to do a shutdown, and then I'm going to turn it back on. So because I'm in a virtual environment, it's very fast to do these things. So I'm just going to do that. Starting up Windows. Windows is, is coming up. Control Alt Delete at the logon screen. Going to log in to my virtual machine into my web interface. Go over here. The virtual machine that I just did this on is actually called Win7 Test. And it's not up and the service hasn't started yet. Idle. So I'm now able to log into my my machine. During the logon process, it's going out to that, that profile folder. It's trying to download a, a profile for me. Uh, because there's not one there, uh, it will create a new one. So I'm now logged into the virtual machine. If I go out back to my machine here and I go to Profile Manager, You'll now see uh, this automatically was created for me. 
and it started doing its active right back already. So I don't have any group policies applied for doing profile redirection. So if I go and I save something out here, it will actually save it back to my profile. So let's make a couple changes here. Create a folder. Create a text document. Modify the text document. Let's close it. Don't save it. Let's create something else. Create a bitmap image. Let's move that. Clear across over there. Let's close the window. You may see that I, I've the quality of the graphics is, is diminished. That's because I have uh, speed screen progressives display enabled. So what I'm going to do here, do two different things. So pretend I'm at home. So I've got I've got a low bandwidth connection. So that that's how or why I'm being able to uh, be given this with the uh, diminished graphics. So I'm gonna I'm going to do a log off of my virtual machine. Can you hear the sound? Now I'm going to go into my DDC and I'm going to modify a policy that I have set. And what I hear is I'm doing is I'm restricting this policy. This is what's degrading the quality of the graphics. I'm going to make it apply only if I'm hitting a 256 or a 512 for doing the latency uh, progressive display. I'm now going to go in here. You can see new folder, bitmap. You can see the text document. You can see they're all there. They're sitting inside of the profile manager folder. So if I now log back into Win7 Test, say I, I come back into the office, I hit a different virtual machine. My logon process says, oh, I've already got a folder created inside of the user profile manager folder, so let's let's pull all those settings in. So you now see I've got the new folder that I created sitting here with the new text document in it. You can see the new bitmap image, they're both exactly where I left them. And I'm in the office, so nothing is being degraded, all the quality is here. I've hit a different virtual machine, they're inside of a pool. My user settings have migrated with me. That is how simple user profile management can be. That's all there is today. Thank you.